without further ado, uh, are you guys ready? Let's welcome up the man himself, Mr. Peter Mayhew! some people in here. See, you sit in that chair and your legs go all the way to the ground. Well, having long legs does help. It does help. It does yeah, help. very much so. Otherwise, I wouldn't get the part. <laughs> it's true. All right, first question. Let's get this out of the way. Who are Ray's parents? Just oh. tell us. Who? Just tell us who, who are Ray's parents. You can tell us. We will keep it a secret. Um, I think there are certain people that would have my guts if I even opened my mouth about whose parent, who's Ray's parent. So what you're oh. saying is Chewie is her dad? Uh, yes. Okay. But who is her mother? That is the question. Princess Leia. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Let's let's talk about what was it like for you to come back uh, after all those years uh, to you know just such a magical uh, uh, event. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we did. You know, we had the gap between Jedi and it's a, it, obviously they did one, two, and three. Right. And they needed Chewie. To rescue the Yoda. Right. Uh, with Tafu, who's the other Wookiee. Yeah. And they needed me. So <laughs> they phoned me up and said, We need you in episode three. Right. Oh, okay, fine. Where we where are we shooting? Oh, there's a little line down in the Caribbean, in the southern area. It's called Australia. <laughs> so, oh, you want me down there, Australia? Yeah. Okay, give me a ticket. Oh, and I want to bring the, bring the wife as well. Uh, Rick McCollum, who was doing the coordinating. Yeah. He said, yeah, no problem. Two tickets at DFW. $10,000. Wow. Round trip. So, and what I actually did was a two scene. Yeah. And it meant that we're talking, finding Yoda, and we're looking at the, um, at the um, council chamber. Mm -hmm. The council chamber, there was nothing on there. All there was was a group of chairs, or axle stands, or light stands, with uh, tennis balls on them, and smiley faces. So that was what you looked at, and you had to remember what the what the faces on those tennis balls were. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy, I know, but this is the film industry. <laughs> so we we do the business, and okay, thank you. And I met all the I met Hayden, Natalie, and Ewan. And got to know them as well as, as you can because they're obviously newer uh, characters. Right. So, go back, come back, do various other conventions and stuff. I, a, few, a few months ago, oh, this is JJ. A personal call from JJ Abrams. We need you for episode seven. Oh. What can you do? <laughs> Having just had knee surgery, I said, well, I can do as much as I can. If you can get someone to do the running around, I can do the most of the stuff. And I think you can tell, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but you can tell the difference. There is a difference. Yeah? Because of the way he walks and everything, everything. He's not got my head movement. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. We go over and we teach him yeah. how to walk and how 
to react like old me. <laughs> now, and, you know, and then we come back and we wondered where we were going to get invited to the conventions, uh, not conventions, but the premieres in LA and London. Sure enough, LA tickets come, go in, do the, do the, do the LA premiere, which was the biggest premiere that Grammar's has ever had. Wow. They blocked off seven blocks of wow. theatres. So we've got 100, 150 cameras to do the PR. I did 60 in three hours. I was sweating like a pig. <laughs> so anyway, we get, get through that and they say, oh, by the way, you've got to be up there because we're going to fly into London to do the London premiere the next morning, the next evening. So they, they buy, they get a plane. It, it's uh, decorated like R2. <laughs> Beautiful plane. Anyway, we get on board, and the last person on board was Carrie Fisher. Well, being a female, you must expect because she's never on time. And I've known her longer than I care to remember. <laughs> so, anyway, we get there, and, well, it was just phenomenal. The mere fact that I was half asleep by the time, by the time we got, <coughs> by the time we got um, all tuckered up again, uh, we just got in the car, went down, out in Leicester Square, did it, and a couple of days later, we're on the plane, home. So that was a good, nice experience that they looked after all the major characters and been able to go, okay, he only did a little bit, but he still got credit. And that is what I like. It's great. Yeah, just the, the extent that even bringing back like the actor who played Nia Nub and, and yeah, bringing yeah. back the actor that played Admiral Akbar, the, the, yeah. the authenticity of uh, you know the, one of the, one of the first things we saw, which is was like an instantly iconic historic photo, was that first kind of um, table read. Table read. Yes. The beautiful photo of all you guys in a circle reading the script, which um, if you guys haven't seen the special features on the, the Blu-ray, you should definitely watch it because Mark Hamill kind of narrated the whole yeah. script reading and it is, I'm getting chills under my leather jacket and these hot lights just thinking about it. Actually, J.J. asked Mark yeah. to read the script, yeah. narrate the script, and Mark did a wonderful job because he's got that voice that he can move it yeah. up and down because he's a voice actor as the well. Joker. Yeah. And, you know, we were sitting there and we could we all had scripts, yeah, and we could go through what he's doing, who was doing what, yeah. who was doing how, and it was the iconic is the photograph that, where yeah. everybody, all the major characters, yeah. are there, and it was just, uh, and uh, it was a historic moment, yes, because Seven is a unique film. It's so special the way that they were able to, you guys were able to recapture yeah. that spirit and magic of Star Wars. So. And the, the thing is that it was done most, uh, one, two, and three, and parts of four and five were done digitally. This was done the old fashioned way <laughs> with cameras. And I was looking at, uh, we were on set. And I was looking at the cameras, and I'm certain I I I looked across and there's a pen of face sitting there on a dolly, and I'm certain that was the one that we actually shot Star Wars on. Oh, he wow. got everything out of oh, wow. L Street or whoever you call it, and they actually to to create the um, to create the Falcon, they actually found the blueprints with screws 
uh, all the commodities that you needed to build another Falcon. Even down to the dice hanging even in the Even down cockpit. to the dice and even down to the screws yeah. that, were, that should have gone in but didn't. Oh, wow. so we, but the guy put them in his pocket and he said, that is my future. So let's talk about that. What was that like the first time you and Harrison walked onto, and not even in the scene, the first time you, as Peter Mayhew, got to walk onto the Falcon? Well, this thing, the A7, yes. yeah. absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Because it's identical to the original. All the paintwork, all the colors, even the table, the uh, checkers table, yeah. was original. Where they got them from, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's not my problem. <laughs> I probably would have just <laughs> fallen on the floor and started crying. I almost did. <laughs> but Paul Harrison didn't. <laughs> because we were doing a... We don't run for it. And we step out, we come from the corridor, into the fog, into the uh, cockpit. And there is a sliding door. Someone who operated that sliding door misread what the instructions were. Oh. So, it, she pressed the wrong button, and we, luckily it didn't do that much damage. But Harrison's had, we heard that, oh, there's been an accident. Harrison's broke his leg. That was the first. Yeah. But no, Harrison being Harrison, he got up and went back and did it again. And that you've got to admire a man that can do something like that. You do not want to be the guy that drops a door on Harrison Ford's foot. <laughs> no, she was hung up on one of the high beams in the, yeah. in the studio. Yeah. And, um, and as far as I know, she's still there. <laughs> yeah, I would be. So guys, if you want to ask uh, Peter a question, go ahead and, and line up uh, at the mic back there. And, uh, oh my gosh. Help! Oh man. I just the target. <sighs> Alright, um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll kick it to a couple of questions from you guys. Yeah. My story's done. I think. What's your favorite dance? Which, what's, what's, what's your favorite Star Wars character? Oh, what's your favorite Star Wars character? Besides Chewbacca, of course. Um, obviously, Princess Rare. <laughs> uh, I, no, I like Jabba. Because he's fat. <laughs> At least Mark kills him, so bad. Oh, there's a lot of characters there that you only see a little while. Yeah. You know, they come in, uh, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It, all the minor characters right. are there. And I know you get to know the actors, and you get to know the characters. And this is why it's, it, it's nice to be able to carry on do one, two, and three, because you're, it's like a family. The family, the crew and the um, technicians are all like a family, because you're working, you've worked three months at a time, therefore you get to know the families and everything else. So it's a question of being a family, going back, and being able to do what you want, what you did, and looking back at stuff and talking to other people how things were done. Okay. I gotta say, uh, your Kylo Ren costume is awesome, but it's also kind of freaking me out because, like, I'm over here and you're at the end of a long bridge thing, <laughs> and now you put the mask on and there's kind of lights and it feels like kind of spooky. <laughs> uh, please do not come up to me. If you try and give me a hug, I, you're so adorable, but I probably won't hug you because I think you may stick a lightsaber at me. Oh, that's an awesome costume. Good job. Nice one.
Uh, so, I have a question based on uh, this next lady's uh, amazing, amazing attire. So, have you, you know, uh, used to, it was cool if you got your own action figure, but now, since it's, uh, it's geek chic, did you know that you have your own shoes now? Yep. Yeah. Do you have a pair? Yeah, fine. I ordered some, but apparently they're having bad weather on Kashyyyk that delayed them. I got the, the Darth Vader ones on, but if you guys haven't seen the, I think they're Skechers, they did a whole Star Wars line. Uh, does anybody have the Chewbacca ones on? I'm sure somewhere in this building someone, they're, they're Geek Kashyyyk. These, these are Wookiee made. Those are Wookiee made? They <laughs> got a Wookiee made. Grandfather died. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You can move it up. You don't have to. <laughs> so much. Bring it up. Bring it up. What was your favorite scene that you were in? Just out of any of the Star Wars? Mm -hmm. Your favorite scene of all time that you got to do? Wow. Um, probably the chess game in Star Wars. Because we have a setup with 3 Piero, R2, and the chessboard. We get there, there's probably, it's a big set, because you've got Harrison playing, flying with Volker, Mark and Alec Guinness playing with the Madden Ball, you know, playing the lightsabers, and Chewie is on the other side of the chessboard. We sit there, cameras start rolling, and I turned to a technician and said, what do we do? <laughs> Is it what do you mean? I said, well, I have never played chess in my life. <laughs> Consequently, I'm a bit naive. But he said, don't worry about it. Just do what you can do. And we will put all the characters in on the chessboard. Afterwards, I went And in 77, you're like, okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> it was great. That was easy. The worst one was the snow scene in Empire, where we're out in Norway, middle of Norway. It's 20 feet snow, and it's minus 20 degrees. I had it first, uh, had the first zoo turn, and we're out there, we're doing the blood droid, right? Right. George and Gary come out, and they go, hmm, you don't look like you've been out in the snow for long. Oh. <laughs> well, you want George. What I would like is you guys to roll in the snow. <laughs> Harrison went. <laughs> He said, right, don't pay for that day. <laughs> Harrison's on his knees as quickly as I can be. Even, even in the Wookiee costume, which yeah, I'm sure yeah, no yeah. one else was jealous of any other time because it had to be hot, but that, I would imagine, Ooh. that's when you want the Wookiee costume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Wookiee chair. Anyway, we finished that shot. We were back. We got a hut that we used for meals and stuff for changing. And I am absolutely covered. You see the look. Come to the table. Yeah. The there's a there's a snow scene from Hoff. Yeah. We go back. To, we get cleared. We go back to the hut. Um, I've got a dresser with me. Who I'm down the back. We have a zip. Takes the head off. Undoes the zip. And I hear it, the costume come off, drop down, and hit the floor. It's wooden floor. It's that I, heavy. Yeah. It looked like a cat had just come out of the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, I ain't dealing with that. Not right. Not responsible for that. No. Oh my so, Anyway, we luckily I took some clean clothes and dry clothes up, and I went. 
yeah. Oh, luckily, I didn't have to clean it up. So um, that was one of the worst, the, you know, the best and the worst wow. of what we have. Thank Hi. How's it going? Mm. Um, what was your favorite movie from all the movies? Which one was your favorite Star Wars movie? Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Yeah. Empire, because it brought all the all the groups or all the cast back together again after Star Wars, and it's a better story. And it was directed by Irving Kershner. Yes. Who I didn't know was one of George's mentors at UCLB. Yeah. And he was a show director. He'd show you what he wanted, give you 50%, and then you do it. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. If you didn't get it right, you go back and do it again. Yeah. No. Right. So I want to ask you a question. <coughs> I don't know how many of you guys are, are Redditors, but we're in a room of nerds, so I would imagine a lot of you. Uh, you are my favorite Redditor. You are amazing, and you somehow always swoop in and chime in um, on the Star Wars subreddit and, and various other subreddits when people uh, have kind of awesome Star Wars posts. So, what's your kind of what's your kind of approach to that? Uh, I mean, you seem to just have fun with it, and, and you always leave such lovely comments on people. I I enjoy what I do. I enjoy people. Whether they agree with me or not, yeah. it doesn't matter. They are in charge of their own opinion. And usually, if we talk to them, you can talk around okay. to whichever way you come. And that doesn't only come from uh, Star Wars, that comes from um, Star Trek. Right. All the, all the you know, number of people that we get coming up with. Star Trek uniforms right, yeah. that are still interested right. in Star Wars. Yeah. And that is spreading. You know, I feel that we, the mere fact that we do something like this, we do, we are spreading the news and it's not going to go away. That is for certain. Yeah. It, you know, the plans that they have, well, my grandchildren. Probably it will be Star Wars. Star Wars will outlive us all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, and we love it. I love it. I love doing it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. End of story. Next question. Well, we, uh, we, 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 we are getting close to wrapping up, but before we do, uh, we do have a special guest that we want to bring out. No! Um, this is a little bit of a surprise. You have not met this person yet. Um, I'm sure. Uh, if you guys have been on the internet at all in the past week, you have probably seen this lady. Uh, it's uh, Candace Payne, a.k.a. Chewbacca Mom. Uh, and we want to bring her out, and this is the first time her and Peter uh, have actually met after her video uh, went hugely viral, and then she was on James Gordon and uh, a bunch of other late night shows, and Peter was so nice and lovely to extend an invite uh, for her to come uh, to the show. So uh, let's bring her out. A huge round of applause for Candace Payne, Chewbacca Mom. This is... How are you? I'm so good. How are you? This is awesome to see. Now, now we can be here. Yes. <laughs> Guys, this makes, this is like life day. This feels amazing. <laughs> I feel like something incredible happened that we don't even understand. Like, much like the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For meeting me. Another fan? Yes. And you are number one No, for doing this. To be a fan we have been you have got the feeling. That you need to get that something we need to do, you put out and you Thank you. And I pleased. Are you kidding me? No, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I, I'm going to get you to sign my phone. We'll bring one over. Oh. I, I will sign it for you. 
I'll make you a deal. Can you sign mine as well? No. I'll do, <laughs> I, I will do the one that you use. Okay. If you got it. I do have it. Okay. We'll see you later. Okay. Okay. This is awesome. You know, what, what, I, what I think is so so amazing, especially in the internet in this day and age where people can be so mean, is if your your video just showed us really what the true power of Star Wars and the power of just fandom in general and why we all love Star Wars and why it brings us together and makes us all so happy. And um, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's great. It was awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Huge round of applause for your welcome. All right, um, let's see. I think uh, I think we got, do we, do we have a little bit more time? How much time do we have? Can we wrap it up here in a couple questions? All right, we'll take a couple more questions. Actually, if we can like rapid fire these, yeah. yeah. My quick question is, whose idea was it for the Oh You're Cold line? That was so great. The Joni in, in uh, Force Awakens in Force Awakens. Awakens. The, the jacket to him. Yeah, it's such a great moment. The moment in, in Force Awakens when uh, when when Han turns to Chewie and says, "Oh, you're cold." <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I think it was. Uh, that feels like such a. It was a a one-off yeah. situation. It feels like a Harrison and Han. Harrison, yeah, you know, we we've got a great relationship. Uh, Harrison can change his attitude. <laughs> you're so cold. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Chewie's been around a long, a long time. Yeah. Therefore, it's something that a mate of yours would say. You know, if you've done something good, he would say, that's cool, man. Right? Right, yeah. So, next. Has, it, has everybody seen Force Awakens? I would hope. You're, you're, in the, you're probably in the wrong room if you, if you haven't. So I, I think that is what made, you know, as sad as that moment was, what really made it sad for me and what makes me cry every time is Chewie and because of their relationship and their bond and to see Chewie just emote without words, just expression of, of what that loss was like is just, and I, and, and I imagine that's, that's almost kind of what it was like for you as an actor to feel that. Yeah. Well, we're here, you know, we're on set. Yeah. Um, Suddenly we heard we knew what was going on and suddenly he just was and then that shot and you're like, yeah or <laughs> What the hell is he? That's pretty good. He's got he went over to the bar and got drunk on that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, seriously, folks. Um, yeah, he went back to my yeah. the cantina and, and had a yeah. yeah. Next, had a few bantha milks. Thanks, real quick. Uh, thank you again for everything you've done in Star Wars. I grew up with Star Wars, born in '77, so all my childhood memories involve Star Wars. Um, we did see in the Force Awakens that the chessboard reactivated, and the game basically picked up where it left off in A New Hope. Are we going to see a continuation of that game, and are you actually going to beat R2, finally? You let the Wookiee win. Um, no, actually, I think 3PO wins. I'm not certain, but um, I don't think it was ever decided what they were going to do with that uh, chess game. But, you know, you never know. We gotta finish it. We gotta finish it. Yeah. I think, oh, yeah. We'll finish. We'll finish it one way or the other. I think BB-8 is gonna win. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm sorry, guys. We we gotta wrap this up, but appropriately to the gentleman in the awesome Chewbacca tank top, uh, you have the last question. I was just uh, could you demonstrate a Chewbacca roar for us? Oh, perfect last question. What do you think I've been doing the last three or four minutes? I, you know what, I think it would be appropriate for us to end this if we all joined Peter in, in a ceremonial Chewbacca roar. Can we do that? Yeah, why not? Yeah. One, two, three. That was more Tuscan Raider, man. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. You've been a great audience. Thank you.